Hello team, another video I wanted to share with you on an amazing feature that you probably are not aware of within Cloud CMA called the API key. Now don't get scared because API sounds all techy and it kind of is, but I want you to think of it this way. Ever been at an open house where someone's come in and simply wanted to get the value of their home? Have you tried to set up a buyer portal for them and found it clunky? Well, what if you within one step could click and input their information in front of them and have a report done in a matter of seconds. What if you could drive traffic to your website and give people a factual and accurate CMA report done from your website without any interaction from you once you set up the template? The API key is designed to engage consumers to get them focused on working with you because you have the information at your fingertips and can be seen as the industry expert, the neighborhood expert. It's an incredible farming tool. So today I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So when you're in your Cloud CMA account team, I want you to go up to the settings section. Once you click on the settings, I want you to go to this section here called API. The API key is really cool. You're going to have the API key for Zillow right here. This is something that you're going to put on your Zillow uh, connection account. Your API button right here is something that you can give to your webmaster or if you know in your WordPress site how to put this in to WordPress and it will pop up a little widget a cloud CMA button that someone can click and engage with or my particular favorite is clicking to Facebook Twitter or even Pinterest and there's a link for general use over here but let's have a look what happens when I click Facebook because as you know I'm all about engaging as many people as possible on Facebook if you click Facebook you can share this link on Facebook, on Pinterest, and on Twitter. But here's where I'm going to show you to really leverage it. Click this. And it's going to take you to this really nicely branded um, Cloud CMA template. Look at this. This is what I want you to focus on. For those of you who have Droid devices, you can save this to your home screen iPhone, iPad users, save this to your home screen and what your iPad will do is create a little icon that pops up for an HTML link, which this is, and whenever you're at an open house, offer anybody walking and saying, yeah, I know you have a home to sell and you're not particularly interested in this house, but would you like to find out the value? Here, all you have to do is type in an address. So let's do that. I'm going to put in my home address here. Click locate property. It's going to ask me for my name. My email. And I'll even put this in. Click send it to me. Off it goes. Now, how do we do that? Here's what I want to show you. I want you to save that link that you have uh, been given here. It's going to pop up here. So, Control A, Control C, and this link is now your permanent link that you need to save to your desktop, save um, on your phone or just drop it in your notes. So I'm going to save that to my clipboard right now. It's saved. And then I'm going to put it in um, a program that I have called Notes. You can save it uh, wherever you like and um, use your mobile device. Save this to your home screen and then you'll have it permanently saved and easily accessible at any given time and you can start sharing this link like crazy. 
So what I did, because I'm on a Mac, I actually saved this bookmark as a favorite over here called Watch Your Home Worth. So it's going to open up this page every single time. And because I'm on an Apple, it's going to show up on my iPad. It's going to show up on my iPhone automatically as uh, What's My Home Worth? Or another way for me is Control or Command 1 on an iMac because that's what I saved it as. So that shows you how simple and easy it is to save it across multiple devices if you're using iPhone. Google does have a similar um, process. I'll leave it up to you uh, Droid fans to figure that one out. So we've got this great template, we've got this great system, we've got the simplest uh, way of sharing and engaging with potential sellers out there. Um, now how does it all work? Well let's go back to the very beginning and you'll see the latest activity here is me that report that I created so I'm going to click on this and let's see what was sent now you'll notice in here it's in my CMA section comparative market analysis section this is the big Muhammad jammer that is created this is the big bad boy and it we see here by F in Facebook we know that it came from Facebook we'll know that it came from Pinterest we'll know that it came from Twitter if you tweet it out there so let's see what it created so when we click on here this is a template that I created in here that every single time this report is requested there's some standard information that's uh, going to be shown here now you guys have got to watch my video on how to customize individual pages because this is the section that you could actually have a video pop up this is the section with all your calls to action remember their first impression of you needs to be about what you do for them not hey look at me I'm a great realtor I sell a house every day and you're an idiot if you don't use me because I'm so good at my job we need to always resonate with them, give them calls to action, thank them for coming to your report and using your technology. Would they like a free cup of coffee to a local merchant? Would they like to access your Facebook page and potentially win an iPad? And I can show you how to set all that those up. Give them access to the multiple listing service. This is the section you drop in your link. So as you can see, I type this out quickly. There's even a typo here. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is. I'm a Realtor 4. I wanted to share with you my passion for real estate. This is why I've given you access to the Valuation Creation Report tool. Please watch the quick little video on how I help my serve my clients. And we drop it all in here. Um, again, something that I banged out late last night. Um, it proved that the template works. There's a map of all the listings that can be in here. Comparable property stat results. Summary of the comps, my info, and so on and so forth. So that shows you the type of report that can be created. What we must do inside of Cloud CMA is you must create a template that you like and that you care for um, called Web Lead. Now I created one in property report just as a sample that you will decide how you want your report and everything that is contained within that report you want to decide for yourself and how it looks, what order it looks like and call it web lead and what happens is when someone requests a CMA from the API key, it looks for a master template called Web Lead. That's very important. That's what it's looking for. So, in order to create that, what we can do here is call it Web Lead. I'm going to type in my address. I'm not going to worry about photograph. I'm not worried about property type. You guys have seen a video how to set all this up earlier. I'm going to ask for automatically find listings near the subject property. Get at least 10 listings. 
And for speed, I'm going to go back for the last three months. Okay. I'm going to click Fetch Listings. Here it is building the report right now. As you've heard me say in other uh, videos, don't do anything with suggested list price. Let the computer do what it wants to do. So um, don't fill in this box. As you'll notice, there are five active, one pending, three sold, one canceled. Um, now, I happen to know um, the square footage of my house, which is this. So I'm going to, in this particular case, I get rid of this. But because we're creating a web lead template, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm also showing people that uh, don't know how to do a CMA or haven't seen how to build a CMA video yet, how simple it is to make adjustments for everything. And we're just going to make this a smaller report for you. Hit customize the report. Over here, I have a custom report already created and saved that I'd like called Web Lead. And as you notice, it's going to move up. Thanks for requesting this amazing property valuation report. Uh, we can go in here and edit. I'm going to change this typo here. Here's a little video that I have to fix and edit in here. I'm going to go to spelling. And you can go through and use everything as you would normally use. Don't need to do this for the purpose of this demonstration. I want to make sure you click save. It's saved. Anytime that you leave a section and get lost, you can always come back and go to an unpublished section. We go to customize. You'll notice down here the web lead report is already pulled up. I'm going to move the contact me down here. I think I'm going to get rid of the agent resume on this one. Um, we have online valuation, map of all listings, summary of comparable property reports, details, photos, any adjustments that might have been done, comparable property stats, sold property stats, suggested list price. Let's get rid of that. And again, I'm going to save these pages. So some of you asked me how to uh, save a report that I want. So very simple. You're going to pick the content that you like. Up here you'll notice I use a custom page and it dropped it in over here. I'm going to move my contact me section down to the bottom. I'm going to get rid of the suggested list price because I, I want them to call me to get my opinion. We've got the map, summary of comps, listings, details, everything else looks good. I can change the color scheme if I want. So. Um, let's try vivid blue and gray. There you go. It's a bit powerful. Pop. We'll use that theme. And now I'm going to add a new report and I'm going to call it Web Lead. And I'm going to click save these pages because I like it the way it is now. So anytime I come to this report or when the API key looks, it's going to look for something called web lead. So here we go. I'm going to publish the report. And from now on, it will always have this format when someone on Facebook, Pinterest, or Twitter requests it. Okay, as you see, you've got view, present, email, and share. Now, for those of you who don't know what present is, that's the uh, way to show this entire pro project on your tablet or your mobile device. It's incredible. Your email function is to email out, and in another video, um, I show you guys um, how to set up your email account. It's very simple, so that it always pops up and opens. And also, the sharing feature is extremely powerful. You have your PDF links that are always permanent forever for this client, this lead, a shortened URL, 
which is very important. You'll see another video on how to create short URLs and how to utilize this so you can track it all the way down to your QR code. But what we're going to look at today is we're just going to view this to make sure it's the way that we like it. And every time someone uses that link that we give them, post, we share, um, there you go. It's going to be looking like this. So very cool, very simple process. Hope you enjoyed learning how to utilize your API key uh, within your Cloud CMA account. Please reach out to me. Um, I want to show you how to really leverage this. This is the most powerful sales tool we've had in a couple of years. Um, it will help you make the phone ring. Everything else you hear me talk about, uh, you hear my frustration come through that I get frustrated for my agent partners that everyone is calling them to offer them something that you have to invest in for several months before the phone rings. And their, their sales pitch is, well, if you only get one deal, it pays for itself. Well, I'm sorry, I'm tired of hearing that. I'm tired of witnessing you when we're in meetings get bombarded by Zillow and Trulia and all these hounds who are after the, your money. Um, if you use this and come and work with me on it, it doesn't cost you anything. It increases your business dramatically, as you can see from all the testimonials I have on Facebook. It gets you engaged with consumers. And most importantly, every time you use one of these reports, it typically has a five to six week shelf life. Your competition isn't using it. You are giving something of value and that's what sellers are looking for to resonate. Um, check out my other videos. Call me on how we leverage open houses with this. Call me on how we get your farm area um, saturated by you. Even if you have one of the big players in town already dominating in there, you can take a lot of business from them. So I'm really excited to share this Cloud CMA program with you. Give me a call, 602-361-0707. Let's meet for coffee. Let me give you the account and let you get uh, rocking and rolling on it. Thanks so much. As always, it's a privilege to be of service. Thank you.